Hi fashion lovers, my name is Eunice from Eleganza TV where we make sewing simple and fun with easy to follow tutorials on pattern drafting and different styles. So today I will show you how to do boss caging for an overboss corset as many of you requested after our last tutorial. So guys, let's get started. So guys, these are the materials I'll be needing for my overboss corset and for my boss kitchen. So I'll be listing them on the description box below so you can check there for any one you need when you want to make yours. So for the bones, I'm making use of a big regiline bone about 0.5 inch or 0.75 inch thereabout. So the reason why I'm using a bigger regiline bone is so that I won't have to sew a lot of bone lines. So when you use smaller ones, you get to sew a lot of them to give your boss caging firmness. But because of the fact that this red line bone is big, so I don't need to sew a lot of lines you get. And then I have my fiber that I'll be using to flesh the boss caging after I'm done sewing all the bone lines. So if you're here to see the making of the overboss corset, the cutting and the sewing tutorial link will be on the description box. So you can go ahead to check it out. So the boss caging will be sewn to the lining of the dress. So I went ahead to iron interfacing. To give my lining a bit of firmness and then i also went ahead to cut out color stay you can make use of pad now you can see the way i cut it only on the boss part so for the first and the second panel i cut out the boss caging to be to start from the under boss to like one inch away from the top of the over boss corset okay so guys you can see how it looks i'm going to gum the part that has gum on the lining part so you can see that the um, canvas started from one inch away from the top and then it stopped on the underboss line, okay? So guys, I've gone ahead to iron it and this is how it looks. Next thing I'll be doing is to join the bust area together. So I'll just go ahead to join all the panels together and then after joining, I'll go ahead to iron all the seams open just like I did. So like I said before, if you've not seen the tutorial of the cutting and the sewing process of the overboss corset, then you should watch that part first. Then you can come back here to watch the boss kitchen tutorial, okay? Let me take you back to a time Okay, so now you can see how the lining looks. It's already having a firm bust already. So I went ahead to use my interfacing, which is my canvas, to just um, iron the, the bust area so that it will not be um, giving me issues. So like I said, you can use your chest warding. If you don't have a color stay, you can use your chest warding to iron on your bust area. But I prefer you use a color stay because that's where you get more firmness so guys what i'm doing now is to rule out all the lines i'll be sewing on for my boss caging so i first of all went ahead to rule the top line which is the chest line because of the kind of structure the oval bust has the so i'll be sewing bone on that um, neckline part and also on the under bust and then i also went ahead to rule straight lines several straight lines there are no measurements you just go ahead to rule straight lines on your bust area okay so this is just what you need to do so you're just going to follow the shape of how the oval bust looks so i'll be sewing to the arm side area we'll be sewing to the under bust so just like that so just rule all the lines that you need to sew on so this is just how it's going to look like it is no there's no mats there it's not a difficult thing to do okay so after getting all the vertical lines so also be ruling horizontal lines on the bust area so this is going to make my bust cage and firm it's going to give it a good structure and make it curvy when i'm done sewing so you will not have to end up with a flat bust caging okay so from the first time i started sewing or started doing bust caging i had a little bit of issues with my bust caging appearing flat 
so i noticed that it's everything starts from the cutting process okay so my cutting of my bust area matters a lot and the sewing so if you sew your bust area to be flat and when you start fixing your bone you're going to end up with a flat bust so you need to first of all watch the cutting tutorial you can see the way i cut the bust area and then how i sewed it and then before you start sewing your bones so all of these little things are going to help you when you want to make yours another tip again is curvy lines when you find any curvy lines on your bones there are some things you need to do to your bones to make them curvy so first of all what i did was i cut my bones because normally regular line bone is straight and it cannot be curvy so i went ahead to cut my bones i went ahead to cut out and bring out the spring so i'm using my plier to draw out the first and second spring to the end you get so i'll go ahead to explain again for this neckline part you can notice that the line there is curved so what i need to do now is to make my bones to be curvy so i went ahead to cut out the bones and then i'll be using my plier to draw out the spring so as you're drawing it out bone will be getting curvy so when you get the exact curve you need for that line then you can go ahead to start sewing on the curve line so any of the shape that appears curvy you're going to be doing this process for it to get your curve bone and then you sew on it but any other lines like the vertical lines and the other horizontal lines that are straight you'll be sewing your bridge line bone straight like that so first of all what i want to do first is to sew my vertical lines so as you can see for all the lines on the vertical lines they are all straight but then there is this other side like the middle side is straight after the nipple area the other line looks curvy so i'm going to be doing the same process for my bone to make it curvy and then sew on that part so every other part that are straight i'll be sewing just like that So guys, you can see what I'm doing now. I place my bone on the lines and then I'm just going to cut out the shape from the top part and also on the underboss to cut out the exact um the exact shape I need for my bone. And then I'll start sewing on the seam line of the bone. So then after doing that, I'll show you what next to do. Okay guys i'll just go ahead to continue sewing all the other vertical lines and then when i'm done i'll show you what next to do so guys in case you might not understand everything i've been saying you can just be watching the video and i'm very sure you'll be able to grab So guys for this part that has a little bit of curve this part that is at the side part of your bust i went ahead to roll a curve line there so what i'll be doing is i'll cut my bone to be longer to be longer than the exact line i have so then after cutting my bones i'll go ahead to cut open the the lines of the bone to bring out the spring so i'll be using my scissors to just make a notch and then after doing that i'll remove the threads so as to open up the spring okay so i'm using a small screwdriver to just take out the thread now after taking it out you can see the springs that make up the regiline bone so what i'll be doing is i'll be taking one of the spring or you can use your plier to hold two of the spring but i just prefer to use just one because it makes it faster so i'll hold one of the spring with my plier 
and i'll just go ahead to be drawing the side parts the parts that i'm using my plier to hold right i'll be using my hand to draw it down to draw the the rope down to give me the curve that i want so this is going to make my bones to be curvy and then when i get the curve i need you're just going to continue this process though it can be very hectic just continue doing the process till you get the curve that you need so for this particular lines the curve is not too much so you don't really need to do a lot of things but this is the same process that i explained before when you want to sew the the chest part that is also curved this is the same process you're going to do also when you want to sew the under bust that is curved this is the same process you'll be doing so after doing that i will go ahead to just cut out the shape of my line and then continue sewing the vertical lines So guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to start sewing the um, the horizontal lines. So after sewing the vertical lines, you're going to be sewing your horizontal lines, okay? So what I'll be doing is also to get the length of the bone I need, and then I will start sewing. So any part that you if you see that it is curvy, you go ahead to do the same process. For this um, particular line, I noticed that I drew a curvy line, although this is totally not necessary. The horizontal line does not have to be curved. So I, I practically made a mistake right here, but it's really no need. So I just went ahead to do a little bit of curve. And then you're going to be sewing the same way you sew your vertical lines. You sew one side of the bone and you go ahead to sew the other side, okay? So guys, this is what I have so far. So because of what I did for that, um, the last bone that I sold for the horizontal lines, my boss caging was now having a little bit of bulge, but not to worry, when I'm ironing it, it's going to make it um, okay. So I'm going to iron the bulge out of it, okay? So I will go ahead to sew the other horizontal lines. And then after doing that, I will sew the bone for the under bust and also for the chest line. So guys, I'm pretty sure that I've repeated this, this part for a lot of time. So note that your curve should follow the shape of your, your um, corset, okay? So if the curve is going up, your bone should also, your bone curve should also be going up. So don't make a mistake to now sew your curve down, the curve bone down. Okay, so, so I'll cut it out and then use a masking tape to just close the edges. So guys, after sewing, this is how your boss caging should be looking like. You can see the inside and the outside how neat it looks and curvy. So what I want to do now is to turn it inside out. So I'll be turning it inside out like so. Now you can see the changes on the bust cage. now. It looks flatter than it used to be before. So when you turn it to the back, it was looking more curvy, right? So when you turn it inside out, it's now looking flatter. So there's no need to stress about that. What I'll be doing next is to iron all the bones to be curvy so i'll go over to my ironing table and then use my hot iron to give it more curve before i flesh it okay so i'll be using my breast ball to iron it and then my very hot iron okay so you can put something on top of the bust area so your iron does not burn the bone So guys, make sure to do this process before you use your fiber to flesh the bust kitchen. So this is going to make your bust area to be more curvy. So if you're struggling with bust caging, anytime you're sewing your bust caging, it's always appear flat. This is the technique that you need, okay?
so guys you can see that there is a lot of difference than what it used to look like when i finished doing the bone you can see it's more curvy now so what i want to do next is to cut my fiber i'll go ahead to cut the shape of the bust so my fiber so i'll go ahead to cut out the shape of the bust area so because of the scallop neckline and the shape that it has so i went ahead to cut out the exact shape on my fiber so when cutting you're going to cut your fiber to be bigger than your bust area so that when you're done so you can trim off the excess so then i'll take it over to my sewing machine and i'll be sewing along the stitches of the bust caging line okay So after sewing the fiber to the bust area this is what i have you can see all the excess so i'll go ahead to trim off the excesses now so just be careful so you do not cut your lining with it because i almost did just now so now when you're done trimming of the excess you're going to iron it again so i'm using my breast ball to place under under it and then i'll use my hot iron to just iron up the curve to come out more so right here you're doing your finishing all you need to do is just iron 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 to get more curve on your boss caging okay so there's one other thing again i wanted to show you this process you're still going to um, do the same process when you're ironing your boss caging like when you finish sewing your bones to it so you can see the way i bend my boss caging placing my breast ball under it and giving it a good press so this is going to give me that very structured um, scallop neckline to make it more curvy okay So after I'm done with my bust caging, I'll go ahead to place my main fabric on top of it and then finish it up. So if you want to see how I did the finishing of the overbust corset, then you should be watching the sewing tutorial so you can see the way I finished it up. If you find any part of this tutorial helpful and interesting, please do well to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have a tutorial you want to request, you can let me know in the comment section. So guys, thanks for watching. See you in our next tutorial and have an amazing week.